supposed to say cake review. Cake review. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have this guy. Say hello. With your words. We have um my boyfriend, my babe, Joel, here with me today. We're going to review some ganache cake. <laughs> this was the ganache offering for Easter. We have over here the blueberry cheese cake. Can't remember the name of it. I will insert the title here. The name. This is the name. We have here the blueberry. Here. We have here the salted caramel nap. I remember that one because she said the nine inch version is uh, the salted caramel dream, and this one is a mini one, so it's a nap. Get it? Funny, not funny. I didn't write that joke. Talk to Stephanie. This one is all the brownies. Um, it's a trio. It was the red velvet and the mint chocolate chip brownie. Um, and the caramel drizzle. I don't know the names of these things. I will insert the names here. This is the name of this set of brownies, and this is the salt. Well, I know the name of the salt of caramel now because, yeah, cool. So, uh, we're gonna start with the brownies because I had those already. We had those already, but I didn't rate them like how we're gonna rate them today. So, we're gonna start with the brownies today. And then move our way on to the cheesecakes. Um, so today we'll be rating the cakes on the general appearance, and that will be um, a score of one to five. We'll be also looking at the shape, if it's symmetrical, flat, or evenly rounded. As a cake in general, does it look like a cake? Um, we'll be greatly really texture, how it feels in our mouth when we eat it, and the flavor. Is it uh, tasting really good? we we'll also be rating the twerk ability. I mean, how much twerks would I give it? Right? I don't know if Joel will give it any twerks at all, but we will see. Okay, so let's go. Um, which one do you want to try first? You said this one first? Yeah, no, but which one of these do you want to try first? You're right about that. Okay, so it's going with the red velvet because Joel likes red velvet and well, my favorite is the mint chocolate chip. Joel hates mint chocolate chip. Yeah. So obviously he would give it a different rating than I would give it. But I would give it ten, 10 out of 10. 10, 100 10 across the board. So this is the red velvet cheesecake brownie. Cheers. So you had this one before. Mm -hmm. It is different. Yes, you had this one before. It wasn't red velvet, it was brown. It was red velvet and mint chocolate chip. Was it? Yeah. It wasn't just brownie and cheesecake? It was red velvet cheesecake brownie. Oh, this one better than last time. Yeah, guys, this one better than the last time. So, Stephanie, it's just getting better and better. On a scale of 1 to 5, what would you rate this red velvet cheesecake brownie? The flavor. Okay, the, the overall appearance, the general appearance. Did it look appetizing? Yeah, okay. 6. 1 to 5? You give it 6? Alright. 1 so. to 5? Oh, okay. Um, 3. <laughs> He says six, six six out of one to five. I will give it a three as well because it's not the same size as the rest of them, so I don't know where the proportions went off. But I definitely need to give the overall um the presentation a ten out of ten. ten. Because Stephanie, this come with these really cute boxes with bows and things. And you see these ribbons in my hair. This is from like all the times I buy cake. So this green one was from this time. And the purple one was from the last time. So she gave him my like styling tips and things too. So cool. 
Wanneer je een bakkeri kijkt, wat dan wanneer je het is. Voor. Dat is een voor. Van Joel. I would give it a three and a half, because red velvet. I mean, I should give it a four too, because it tastes good. But red velvet is not really my thing, but I'll give it a four. Then the shape, well, it's a brownie, it's square. So, I give it five for that, <laughs> because what a shape it's supposed to be. What, what do you give the shape? Oh, I guess. Wasn't that perfect? Square, really. Texture. How how did it feel in your mouth? Was it smooth? Did it have a nice feel on your tongue? <laughs> um. I think I need to try it again. Well, he need to try it again to give you his thoughts on the texture. I will try it as well. I have a nice texture. For cheesecake brownie. It has a cheesecake kind of feel. But it also has this brownie consistency. Yeah. So how much you give it? He gives it a 4 on texture. I give it a 5 because it's quality cheesecakes here. And then we have some water before we move on to the mint chocolate chip because that's the two that we had before and we're gonna try them to compare to the last time and any new one will be the caramel sauce one. Oh wait, the twerk will be I given this 10 twerks out of 5. How much twerks you will need? Sure. <laughs> we get no twerks from Joel for the red velvet cheesecake brownie. Okay, cool. So we're moving right along to the mint chocolate chip one. Excited! Mint chocolate chip party. Yeah, so, obviously Joel does not like mint chocolate chip. That's why he have a little bit. I have a big bit because it's my favorite. So, yeah. Mm. What do you think? Mint. Okay. So the general appearance, again, it was a solid size. It was a quality block. Okay. And it was looking like mint and chocolate, which is my favorite. I gave this a five out of five because a little bias. I can't lie. So, is that five for me? What do you give it? Three. Do I give it a three? What about the shape? Was it a perfect square? No. So, what do you rate it to? A three. He gives. So, how did the next one get a four? It was more square than this one. <laughs> this one have a curve. Look. I give it a five because it's a block. What else you want? <laughs> what about your texture? Mm, it was good like the last one. So four. So texture gets four. Obviously, I'll give it a five. It's mint of the chip brownie. It tastes good in my mouth. It melts in my mouth. It was nice. Do do acne. The flavor. Two. His flavor rating is biased because he don't like mint chocolate chips. My flavor rating is biased because I love mint chocolate chips. So it gets a 2 from him and a 5 from me. I should give it a 6 just because. And twerkability, it gets 10 twerks from me. I mean, it should be out of 5. It gets 10 twerks from me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so let me read the general appearance of this one time. He gives the caramel brownie four. a solid four in general appearance. I give it a five. It was the biggest block. I thought I'd give it six and I give it six because it was the biggest piece of brownie there. It looking like I need to have it in my mouth right now. We're gonna try it now. Let's go. 
I give him the five is the best block at Browning out of the SM, but I mean, I can't give it six, so then the texture. I feel like this one had the brownies texture. It feel like a brownie. The others had a, had a cheesecake brownie mix. It, it tastes so good. What do you think about it? What do you think about the texture? It's good. It's more crunchy. Yeah, it, ha it had crunchy because of the nuts in it. Yeah, I think that's better. And my taste. And what, what, what do you read it? Four. So, Caramel one gets a four in texture. I give it a five. It's a quality brownie texture. And the flavor now. Caramel sauce on top. It was a little sweet. But I think the brownie balances it. It's because it caramel sauce brings the sweetness into the brownie. I don't know how to explain it. But it tastes real good. And the pecans was a surprise. I didn't know this had this had pecans in it. Also, I didn't know what pecans was until I buy a pecan pie last time. I mean, I know what a pecan was, and those are nuts, but I never had pecans before until I buy the pecan pie. Check this video here. <laughs> so, what what do you would give the flavor? A four. Yeah, a four. You would give that one any twerks? No. <laughs> Ten twerks of me! Tuk, tuk, tuk. <laughs> We moving on to the cheesecake section. First, we're gonna try the salted caramel nap. Is the salted caramel nap because the large one is the salted caramel dream and this one is the mini one. I remember. All right, cool. So you're gonna try this. You wanna cut it? This one have this one have pecans on it. I know that that is a pecan on top there. It looks like a walnut though. Is it? I don't know. It has nuts on top of this cake, right? You're gonna try it. Wait, let me do the appearance first. General appearance. Is it balanced? What's the color like? Where you gonna read it? Um, five. This one get a five, guys. A five from Joel. So, it look it around good. I give it. A 10, which is only a 5, because I can't give it more than 5. And what about the shape? Was it perfectly round to your liking, sir? Yeah, 5. Yeah, so Joel gave it a 5 in shape. And I gave it a 5 in shape as well, because it's a certain thing. What else, what else you want from our cheesecake, a round cheesecake? Now we're going to try this salted caramel nut. I need to clean all this brownie off. Mm. I should have some water to cleanse my palate before I try the cheesecake. Okay, so I have a nice piece of pecan here. A nice bit of cheesecake. This looks like cheesecake. I mean, I don't know how else it's supposed to look. It looks delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Dexter, maybe one Dexter one time. It's soft. It's smooth. It had that crunch around the pecan. Oh my god. The crust. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm. All right. It's a five from me. I had nothing else to say. What? What do you give it? Let me hear some thoughts on that texture. <laughs> there was creamy and crunchy. And I like more salty than sweetness. So to me, this is more five than before. So that's a five from Joel for the salted caramel nut, guys. And this is an unbiased opinion because he don't, he don't even know who Stephanie. I mean, he know who Stephanie, but 
Stephanie is my friend, right? And he gave this all the caramel now. A five out of five. Listen, that cheesecake, it just melted my mouth. I, listen, I wasn't ready. I was not ready. It was amazing. What about the flavor? A whole five. It tastes so good. Like, it literally, it wasn't too sweet. It had a little salted caramel business going on. It was quality. Obviously, I was gonna give it a five anyway. Because it is, listen, at least, oh my god. Five out of five out of five in taste. Right now, this one winning. And well, I gave this one 20 twerks. 20 twerks. 20 twerks for me. 20 twerks. From me, because listen, I like salted caramel, I like cheesecake, and this was everything I needed it to be. Stephanie, quality, ganache TG, link in the bio. Now we have one more, the final one, and I saved this one for last because it was the most interesting one that I wanted to try. Stephanie has been posting pics of this for months and making me feel like I want to eat my phone when I see this picture on Instagram, right? It's the blueberry cheesecake. And it comes with this blueberry compote to put on top. So we're gonna try some of that. And what we're gonna rate is the general appearance first. So did it look appetizing? Did it look like you need to eat it yeah what's it like mm -hmm. but i don't know if you ever see it on instagram but was it like you know this is called beef cheesecake and i need to have this in my mouth right now no it wasn't like that it was like that for me guys i wanted to have it in my mouth right now i buy it two days ago and i couldn't eat it because i wanted to make this video but it looks amazing and I give it a 5 out of 5. What would you give it on general appearance? Huh? Uh, 5 as well. 5 out of 5 out of 5. Ten, ten, tens across the board. Shape. Was it round enough? Yeah, 5. <laughs> it was round enough, guys. It was round. It was... It was round. 5 out of 5 for shape. And now we move on to texture. But to move on to texture means I get to taste it. Ah. I want some blueberry on mine. So he just poured some sauce, but I want some actual blueberry. You want some blueberry too? One. One. Oh, come here, come here. Don't run away. I have some nice blueberries and my nice cheesecake slice. And we're gonna try it. Mmm, already. Mmm, it's already. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 Oh, yes. Listen, this one was definitely the best one. I can't say that. All of them were so good. It was so good. The texture, uh, it just melted in your mouth. It's so smooth, it's so creamy, it's so nice. It's so quality. My guy, five from me. I can't, I can't give, give it anything else. Other than five, what you would give it? The texture is five out of five out of five people. And the flavor, well, I mean, I mean, it wasn't too sweet. It had the blueberry, giving it this nice citrusy punch. Blueberry citrus, tangy punch, acidic punch. I don't know, tart. That's the word. The blueberry brought the tartness to the cake. It was quality. I give it five. What do you think about the flavor? Four. What? Why? <laughs> yeah, it was too sweet for me. And I wish. I wish the. Um, what is this called? The cookie. The part. crust? The crust was more crunchy and more salty. 
But this is not the salted caramel one. But still, it was it was as sweet as um, yeah, as sweet and as soft as a cheesecake. I mean, did you get any crust at all? Yeah. Okay. Well, he gave it a four in flavor. He didn't like, but then how you can give the texture five? That is supposed to give it a four in texture because that was a texture thing. Oh, four. <laughs> no, it's too late. He gave it a five. I can't take it back. <laughs> so, <sighs> Ganache TT. People, follow them on Instagram, follow them on Facebook, and look out for the next order because she does only have like three orders and it is go fast within half an hour. She sell out already. I said it, it might be like a little six hours to sell out. Overall, which one was your favorite? The salted caramel. Obviously, because he liked the saltiness. Overall, main chocolate chip brownie is still my favorite. Between the cheesecakes, I cannot decide because the both of them was quality. The blueberries, you should have two blueberries. That would have made the flavor for you. I mean five. <laughs> the blueberries, so good. Oh my god. And you know, I would just like to say that Stephanie continue doing what you're doing. You're doing a very wonderful job. And I will be waiting and ready for the next drop. Link me. You know my number. Send my little some some let me know what going on. Alright. <laughs> so he's gonna continue eating that salt the caramel cheesecake because apparently he can't stop. And thanks for watching. If you made it to the end here. Leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Simply state that I have a full time job as an accountant. As an accountant. Nobody asks you questions when you say you're an accountant. This is not because I love Stephanie, it's because that brown is quality. Alright, cool. Why this helicopter passing now? Where this helicopter come from? I never hear a helicopter pass here yet. The day when I decide to film, a helicopter passing now. I thought the borders was closed. What is happening?